Tonight, family and friends are on the, for on the force are saying final goodbyes to Ludowisi Police Chief Frank McClellan, killed Saturday night during a police ch chase. A funeral service was held for him at First Baptist Church in Ludowisi, and that's where we find our Leandra Larson. It was an emotional day here at First Baptist Church as family members, the community, and friends on the force said their final goodbyes to Chief McClelland. A fallen hero remembered for making the ultimate sacrifice. While Chief McClellan is being honored for his service to the community, he was more than just a police officer in Little Wissy. He was family. I've known Frank since I was a little fella. Uh, we, I grew up across the street. We were across the street neighbors. Our parents were friends. We've known each other for many years. Church walls lined with people, nearby streets lined with cars as far as the eye could see. Chief McClellan's impact stretching different counties the reality setting in for many of his friends. When the people you know do have tough experiences in life, they experience loss, and you have to be there for them as a friend and a professional, and I've tried to do that for the McClellan family. It's not been easy. Uh, you put personal feelings aside as best you can until a certain point, and then you privately have your come apart, <laughs> if you will. In Little Wissy, there's a void in Little Wissy. There's an emptiness that we feel right now because of the loss of Frank McClellan. A big piece of this small community gone too soon. Chief McClellan was a lifelong resident of Long County and served on the police force for over a decade. Reporting in Little Wissy tonight, Leandra Larson, WJCL 22 News. A special fund has been set up to help Chief McClellan's family with funeral expenses. You can contribute to the Little Wissy Bank. Just mention the Frank McClellan Jr. Blue Line Memorial Fund. 